was a great day for some diving and this group had a mission to clean up Okanagan Lake. The inaugural land and sea spring cleanup event took place Sunday at City Park. It was spearheaded by A.J. Weintz of Mind Over Matter Diving and Colby Corbett from Sustainable Stoner Apparel. White said they have come across a lot of junk while searching for buried treasure underwater. We like boats, barbecues, masks from this COVID, and a little bit of pop cans and beer cans as well. Uh, personally, I've seen fish dead inside of pop cans, so they can't get out. And I've seen fish cut open from pop cans or stuck on a pop can. So it's affecting the fish habitat a lot and then you see broken bottles and stuff as well which people can step on on the shore or while they're swimming which isn't good for people either. Sometimes it can be difficult especially with the bigger things like a boat and a barbecue. We have to use lift bags to get those out of the water and with that you have to sometimes have special qualifications depending on the weight of an object but the pop cans and beer cans we usually just put them in mesh bags and bring them to the surface. One of those who came out to lend a hand was Faith Ferguson. Um, first of all because I care about the environment and second of all, because Kelowna is such a tourist attraction and with COVID petering out, there's going to be a lot more travelers. People are going to go, OK, well, I'll try something, you know, locally in B.C. somewhere and then venture out. And so to me, it's important that our city looks clean. Um, to me, when I've been around the world and other places, I'm impressed when I go in a city and the streets look clean. I know that somebody cares about that city and about the people in that city. AJ and Colby are encouraging others to get out and clean up where they live near Okanagan Lake, take some pictures and tag them on social media for a chance to win some sustainable stoner apparel. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.